weekend forecast in just a few minutes. Thanks, Chris. Two years in the making, the Richmond County Sheriff's Office announcing it made 19 arrests from an undercover operation. They worked with the FBI and ATF to take down what they call the Tyrone Guys Drug Trafficking Organization. All 19 face federal and state charges. Most of the arrests were in Jordan Johnson's district. Now, Sloan O'Cone spoke with him, and he says that he hopes this opens up an opportunity for change. 18 search warrants, nearly three pounds of cocaine, MDMA, meth, marijuana, oxycodone pills, Xanax, nine guns, seven cars, and over $50,000 in cash, all seized. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what is going on? And unfortunately, this is just, you know, something that's been going on for quite some time. But I'm glad that our law enforcement professionals have been on the job making sure that we have safe neighborhoods. Sheriff Richard Roundtree says the gun violence from these organizations has to be eliminated for our communities to find peace and safety. He says most of these defendants were carrying or owned a gun, and a lot of our gun-related violence is because of them. We have teenagers dead on the streets. We have blood on the streets, and there was 20-year-old blood, 21-year-old blood, 8-year-old blood. So at the end of the day, we have got to figure out what measures we can support to prevent folks from going into this, this style of life. A lifestyle that leads to this. Charges of trafficking cocaine, intent to distribute, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The list goes on for Tyrone Guy, a.k.a. Pit Stick, and the rest of his trafficking suspects. We've seen a few headlines like this. I'm grateful for the sheriff's office and the work that they've done to clean our neighborhoods up. But we can't just stop at incarceration. We have to work to keep folks from getting into this trouble. We've asked since January about what commissioners could do. A few have brought it up, but no new initiatives have come up yet. Mock services at SRS has... We're learning more about a new discovery center Columbia and Richmond County school districts are working on together. The two districts just voted uh, earlier this week to split the cost. It's part of a program where middle schoolers can learn business in real-world finance. Claire Allen is at the warehouse that will start to transform into a new education center. This building might not look like much right now, but in a year's span, it will be transformed into a place for kids to come and learn more about adult life and financial literacy. A unanimous vote by Richmond and Columbia County School Districts set things in motion for the Junior Achievement Discovery Center. What we would like to do is not only show the students a breadth of industry that's represented there in that area, but also for the finance art program, we like to show them the different categories that go into a household budget. Middle school students from both districts will spend 20 hours in the classroom learning about real estate, gas and car maintenance, bills, banking, everything that adults deal with, and then apply it at the center in a four hour day. And I mean, we've got all these different jobs and they begin to see how big the world is and see them right there at home in their community. Columbia County Superintendent Dr. Flint says it's much more than a partnership between school districts. It's a partnership with the entire community. Uh, we want to give this a feel of um, our communities uh, from um, the Evans, the Augusta, the entire CSRA area. The GA Discovery Center is set to open fall 2023. In Columbia County, Claire Allen, on your side. And the center will work with 18 different partners to set up shop inside the building. A local nonprofit.